What if your everyday waste could turn into your garden's treasure? Imagine the heaps of waste sitting in landfills. Now picture a lush, vibrant garden. Yes, it's possible. With a touch of art, a sprinkle of science, and a whole lot of dedication, you can transform your waste into a gardening gold mine. It's not magic, it's composting. It's time to roll up your sleeves and uncover the wonders of composting. So are you ready? Three, two, one, discover. Imagine standing in your backyard holding a handful of rich, dark compost. Composting, my friends, is a beautiful process. It is the natural recycling of organic materials like fruit peels, vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, and yard waste, transforming them into a nutrient-rich soil conditioner. It's an eco-friendly solution that not only helps reduce landfill waste, but also provides a free organic fertilizer for your garden. Picture this. You're preparing a delicious meal chopping up fresh veggies. Instead of tossing those scraps into the trash, you add them to your compost pile. Over time, these organic materials along with leaves, grass clippings, and other yard waste begin to break down. Tiny beneficial organisms from bacteria to earthworms work tirelessly, decomposing these materials into a rich dark substance known as humus. But not everything from your kitchen can go into the compost pile. While fruit and vegetable scraps are perfect, meat, dairy, and fats are a no-go. They not only slow down the composting process, but can also attract unwanted pests. On the other hand, your yard waste, like leaves, grass clippings, and small branches, are excellent additions, providing the necessary carbon to balance the nitrogen from your kitchen scraps. The beauty of composting lies in its simplicity. You don't need any fancy equipment or specialized knowledge. Just a simple compost bin or pile in your backyard, a good mix of greens and browns, that's your kitchen and yard waste, a bit of water and some time. Mother Nature does the rest. Composting is a journey, a process of transformation. It's about watching waste materials break down, decompose, and eventually turn into a substance that's incredibly beneficial for your garden. It's about creating a closed-loop system where nothing goes to waste, where everything is reused and recycled, where life feeds life. And that's the magic of composting, turning scraps into soil. So why should we compost? Well, the reasons are as diverse as our gardens, and we're not just talking about those beautiful blooms and hearty vegetables. Composting is a simple and natural process that has far-reaching benefits. For starters, composting is a fantastic way to reduce landfill waste. Every year, a staggering amount of organic waste ends up in landfills, where it takes up space and releases harmful methane gas as it decomposes. By composting at home, we can turn this waste into something valuable and lessen our carbon footprint. Now let's talk about soil. It's the lifeblood of any garden and composting enriches it like nothing else can. Compost is a nutrient-rich soil conditioner that improves the structure, texture, and aeration of the soil. It also increases the soil's ability to hold on to water, reducing the need for frequent watering. But the magic of composting doesn't stop there. It also introduces beneficial organisms to the soil. These hard-working little critters break down organic material, creating a rich, fertile humus that plants love. And did you know that composting can also help control diseases and pests? That's right, the beneficial organisms in compost can help suppress plant diseases and pests, reducing the need for chemical pesticides. But perhaps one of the most important benefits of composting is its impact on the environment. By composting, we're not only reducing waste and improving soil health, we're also helping to combat climate change. Composting reduces the release of methane from landfills, a potent greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. So, whether you're a seasoned gardener, a beginner, or simply someone who cares about our planet, composting offers benefits that are hard to ignore. From reducing waste and enriching soil to combating climate change, composting is a small act with enormous potential. So let's start turning those kitchen scraps and yard waste into garden gold. Let's start composting and witness the magic unfold right in our backyards. Because composting isn't just good for your garden, it's great for our planet. Ready to start your composting journey? Here's how. First things first, you'll need a compost bin. You can purchase one from your local gardening store or even build one yourself. The size and type of bin you choose will depend on the amount of compostable waste you generate and the space available. Now let's begin by understanding the three main components necessary for composting. Browns for carbon, greens for nitrogen, and water for moisture. Browns include materials like dead leaves, branches, and twigs. 
Greens are composed of vegetable waste, fruit scraps, coffee grounds, and grass clippings. Start by layering your compost bin. The bottom layer should be browns, which provide a good airflow base. Add a layer of greens on top of the browns, then add another layer of browns. This alternating layering technique helps balance the carbon and nitrogen in your compost pile. Next, add some water. The compost pile should be damp, but not soaking wet. Think of it as a wrung-out sponge. The moisture helps break down the organic material and encourages beneficial microorganisms to do their magic. Now it's time to get a little hands-on. Every few weeks, give your compost pile a good turn with a pitchfork or a shovel. This process, known as turning or aerating the compost, helps to speed up the decomposition process by providing oxygen to the microorganisms that break down the materials. Remember, patience is key. Composting is a natural process that takes time. The exact amount of time it takes for your compost to be ready can vary based on factors such as the size and type of your materials, the weather, and how often you turn the pile. Generally, it can take anywhere from two months to a year. Once your compost pile looks and smells like fertile garden soil, it's ready to use. You'll know it's done when it's dark brown, crumbly, and has a sweet, earthy smell. Use this rich, nutrient-filled compost to enrich your garden soil. You can mix it into your garden beds, use it as a mulch, or even brew it into a compost tea for your plants. The microbes and nutrients in the finished compost will help improve your soil structure, retain moisture, and provide vital nutrients to your plants. Remember, composting is not just a science, it's an art. It may take a few tries to get it right, but once you do, it's a rewarding process that benefits both you and the environment. It helps reduce waste, enriches your soil, and gives life to your garden. And voila! You've set up your first compost pile. Don't be disheartened if things don't go perfectly the first time. With each attempt, you'll become more skilled in the art of composting, and before you know it, you'll be turning waste into garden gold. Composting isn't without its challenges, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's face it, even the best composters run into snags from time to time. One common issue is a compost pile that simply isn't breaking down. If your compost pile looks the same week after week, it may be too dry. The solution? Simply add some water. Not too much, though. You want it to have the consistency of a wrung-out sponge. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you might find that your compost is too wet and giving off a foul odor. This is usually a sign that there's not enough air getting to your compost. To fix this, you need to turn or mix your compost pile to let it breathe. What about pests? Fruit flies and other critters can be a nuisance. These little guys are attracted to your kitchen scraps. Burying your fresh additions under a layer of brown materials like dry leaves or straw can help keep them away. And finally, if your compost pile is too slow to decompose, it's likely because it's lacking nitrogen-rich materials. Adding green materials like grass clippings or vegetable peelings can speed up the process. Remember, composting is a bit of an art and a science. It may take some trial and error to get it just right, but don't let these common challenges deter you. With these tips, you're well prepared to tackle any composting challenge. Now that you're a composting pro, are you ready to make magic happen in your garden? You've learned the art and science of composting, seen how it benefits not just your garden, but the environment as a whole. You've seen how composting reduces landfill waste, enriches soil, and even supports a diverse ecosystem in your backyard. You've learned the step-by-step -step process of setting up a compost bin, and you've also gained insights on how to troubleshoot common composting issues. You now have the power to transform your waste into a valuable resource that will give life to your garden. Imagine the satisfaction of watching your plants thrive on the compost you've created. Imagine the cycle of life continuing right in your backyard, from waste to garden gold. That's the beauty of composting. So go ahead, share this video, subscribe for more insights, or better yet, start composting. Are you ready to turn your waste into wonder? Thanks for joining us on this composting journey. We hope you found it enlightening. Don't forget to check out our social media platforms for more green thumb tips and tricks. Remember, it's in our hands to nurture nature. Start composting today.